Hello everyone, welcome back to the Track Garage, and in today's episode, I'm going to introduce to you the x Mod. These were one of my favorite 128 scale cars, because these are basically hobby grade vehicles. For its time, in 2003, they could do a lot, just as much as a hobby grade vehicle. I'll show you a stock one. But I'll still try to explain as much as I can. Out of the box, you would get one of these units. Okay. Four AAA batteries. Six volts. And um, it would go pretty quick. And I think most of the secret was the fact that there was no idler gear. It's just pinion, spur gear, directly to the drives. Just like hobby grade. For its scale, extremely lightweight, and everything is upgradable. Springs, the arms, drive shaft, um, there's longer ones, there's shorter ones, um, acceleration gear, different, there was a motor upgrade kit, all wheel drive kit, it, it was amazing for its time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, everything you're gonna need to convert one hobby grade and working for today uh, because for whatever reason some of these actually just randomly stopped working over the years for some people uh, so I've actually gutted this is one I've already gutted it's pretty much down to just the frame right uh, this is a stage 2 motor as well the 8 tooth the lowest one wow so I'm anxious to count of the windings, but I guess not until the motor is completely done. It comes with the shaft down the middle for all-wheel drive, but you had to buy the all-wheel drive kit. Um, and of course, the suspension was changeable. Oh, it was amazing. It's so what it, what just got me started into all this was converting this into lipo. And of course, I had to replace the steering servo so it would be able to communicate with the receiver and be able to communicate with the motor as well all you need is to get a 30 amp brushed ESC like this uh, it looks like this I preferred this one because it comes with this large capacitor on the bottom that could absorb a lot of the noise interference from different experiments you might have uh, other than this vehicle of course you're gonna need some lipo batteries to power it up uh, I've actually already got some velcro to stick these to the side to replace the location of where the batteries went. Perfect, nice. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna come like this, we'll need to buy connectors. Convert that. Connect your micro batteries. Let's wait for the last one. Uh, let's see, to communicate with the motor, I've got the motor wire for that. You two will have to make one, or you can splice or cut. Uh, I made my little converter, of course, for my multiple projects. Okay, motor's connected, and we're missing our receiver. I use the Fly Sky receiver transmitter combo. It's called here. It's the FSGR3. All we gotta do is connect this into channel 2 and our steering into channel 1. Black wires out. Now we can connect. Now it's about <laughs> getting all this to fit. There we go. Finally. The wheel should roll freely right after that. Oops. 
course it's absurdly fast. Not just This is ridiculous. Alright. Let's see if I can get it done before. Alright, here is the test of the X Mod. 2S upgrade electrons. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Insanely fast. Extremely hard to drive. So that is what the X mods look like. And if you guys have any questions about the X mods, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any other ideas, also let me know and I will do my best to make a video on it and uh, uh, answer any questions you might have. Take it easy, see you next episode.